if the sum of two consecutive multiples of 7 is 119, find the two numbers. Okay. Let's first analyze what is given to us. We are told that the sum of two consecutive multiples of 7. So there are two multiples of 7. Let's call them as M1 and M2. Okay. The sum of two consecutive multiples, the sum of these two consecutive multiples is 119, is equal to 119. So we know that these M1 and M2 are two multiples of 7. Okay. And they are what? They are consecutive multiples. What do you mean by consecutive? Consecutive means that if number is 1, one of the numbers is 1, the other one is that number plus 1. So if you have 7, the consecutive of 7 is 8. Let's call this first number as equal to x. Okay. So then the second consecutive number will be what? It will be x plus 1. Right? So if the number is this, the consecutive number for this one is this. So if the number is 1, the consecutive is 2. If it is 7, it is 8. Why? Right? Because 7 plus 1, 1 plus 1. So if the number is x, then it has to be x plus 1, which is x plus 1. Now what we are told is that if you multiply both these numbers by 7, because these are multiples of 7, then the sum that you get is 119. So let's call the first number as 7 into x plus 7 into x plus 1 is equal to 119, right? So the numbers are basically x and x plus 1. Or 7x plus, 7 into x will give you what? 7x plus 7 into 1 will give you 7 is equal to 119, right? Or 14x is equal to 119 minus 7. We take this to the other side of the equality, it changes sign which gives us 14x is equal to 112 or in other words x is equal to 112 divided by 14 which is 8 right so we get the value of x is equal to 8 but x was one of the numbers okay the other one was x plus 1 9 now these numbers have to be multiplied by 7 so the first number which is m1 is equal to x into 7 or 8 into 7, 56. The second number which we have here is 7 into x plus 1. x is 8, so x plus 1 is 9 or 7 into 9, 63. So we have m2 equals 63, we have m1 equals 56. And if you add the two of them, what do we get? We get 119, which is actually what we were told. So by applying these logics, by applying the linear equation, by forming linear equation, based on given practical situations, we can find out the variables which are there. Okay?